Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. And this week on Comic Fights, we are summarizing our six video arc about Gotham City and Batman and the death of Batman and then the rise of Trigon. It's epic, but you need to go back. I put them all in one playlist. So you can just watch the six videos that you helped create. You have given the scenarios. You have chosen who takes what roles. This is all your making. And that is exactly why you all have chosen how this story ends. I'm not going to recap everything, but all you need to know is that the demon Trigon is kind of in the middle of Gotham City, right? He's kind of come up from whatever hellscape he's been in, and he's facing off against John Constantine wearing the armor of Sidorak. So he has kind of this mix of magical and physical power. Can he take out Trigon? Here's an answer from one of you. Ed Lippincott says Sidorak doesn't like to lose, especially to other demons like the other Octessens. So I'm going to assume that as he has done previously, he's willing to further empower his avatar for a short duration to win. It's possible that the Juggernaut's powers could be elevated to the levels from Uncanny X-Men 369, where he was able to use his momentum to smash between dimensions or planes. It is also possible, like in X-Men the Animated Series Season 4 Episode 1, that Constantine has other powers than the main Juggernaut. Constantine can research, or knows, Trigon has been defeated by being trapped before. Because of all this, I see the fight playing out as such. Juggernaut attacks Trigon, but Trigon gets the upper hand. Sidorak further empowers his avatar. Constantine then uses his Juggernaut powers to force Trigon through to the Dark Dimension. But he famously can't stop himself, so he is also trapped. However, Constantine, knowing this might happen, brought the necessary items required to create a small escape portal, rather than punching a big hole in reality that takes a while to close itself, leaving Trigon stuck to face Dormammu and his mindless ones. So imagine, more than just the momentum of not being able to stop, he pushes through to another just plane of existence. He pushes Trigon through to the dark dimension where Dormammu exists. Now, Constantine knows that he has to get back somehow, so he sacrifices the armor, the gem of Sidorak, the momentum, the power that is going forward. He leaves that behind and returns in his plain old John Constantine form to Gotham City. Now, we know that Trigon and Dormammu can fight forever, and so this may not be a permanent fix, but it could be days, could be years, could be millennia that Trigon and Dormammu fight endlessly in the Dark Dimension. So now, where does that leave us? Gotham City is wrecked. You know, having demons attack, having all of the supervillains united under Kingpin attacking, destroying, it's time to rebuild. Luckily, heroes have stepped up to take on the mantle of Batman. Some of them might choose to stay there. Others might return to their lives as their normal selves. But if Gotham City ever needs them, it's undoubtable that any of them might come back. That they would. That they owe it to the city. So now, it's time to look forward. Our worlds are colliding in interesting ways. Heroes and villains are facing off against people that they've never run across before. So, I don't have a new fight for you, but I want you to give suggestions because next week we're going to go back to just weekly one-off fights instead of this big arc. So give me your fights and make sure to think them through that they're not obvious. A lot of fights that people suggest, there's an easy answer to, which is why I don't do them. So really think about, like, I cannot think of an easy way that one of these people could win. It is tough. Those are the ones that we want to debate. So give your suggestions in the comments, and next week we'll start back up with one-off comic fights. We'll see you then.